Hello and welcome to Mission Team of the Century episode number 10. We're going to be starting off with the transfer uh, that I made off camera once it loads up. Um, so I signed this attacking midfielder from Benfica. Um, he's worth 8.8 .8 million. He wears number 10. And we signed him for 15 million. Uh, we might have, we probably overpaid for him, but I think he would do a very, very good job. Um, we can play him in the centre on or, or um, either wing. So um, gonna put him on the bench. Uh, he'll be our impact player. We will get straight into the first match. Oops. Up. We'll get straight into the first match against Burnley. We line up with a 4-2-3-1-B as always. Of Blackman and Burnley playing the 4-4-1. Fujita Radovanovic plays a nice pass. Oh, great finish. And Meram gets the first goal. What a finish from Meram. Good pass from Radovanovic. And just slots it right into that top right corner. First goal in the first five minutes of the game. Up to Jackson. Good ball. Oh, what a finish. And it's murder again. Let's look. Let's have a look at that replay. Nice pass into Jackson. Jackson chips it up. And murder volleys it right into the roof of the net. For a 2 0 lead. We're definitely going to have to. Uh, in the last 10 games if we're finished for a higher rate oh no they slot they slot it straight past our goalkeeper and Burnley are right back in it he's dunked Rising heart. Choi. Let's let's try and look for a third goal. Brilliant pass and he's offside. Choi. Alright, half time. I think it's time to bring on Talento. Uh, also Jackson on the right wing. And that's it, full time. Taliska didn't really make a big impact, but we get the win nonetheless. And uh, let's let's do a couple of training drills and uh, get right into the match against Manchester City. So let's go for let's go for Dyer. Defence system for Semedo. Attacking training for Andori. And fitness training for Dyer as well. Defensive training for let's go for Andori. And let's get straight into the match. Or wait. Or 
already given the ball away. Fernando runs straight through, plays a nice ball into Silva, into Milner. Aguero. Vegeta, yes, he scores. The equaliser against Man City at their home ground. And that's part of it. Schmelz, back into Schmelz, and pass is blocked, Radovanovic wins the ball, does well, Radovanovic scores, and he's deserved that goal, I think he's been man of the match, let's make a couple of subs, and bring on Vitiello. Radovanovic wins the ball. Pity. Well done. To Choi. Radovanovic. Oh, it's back. Oh, lovely finish. He's running the episode. And he's running the game. Look at this passing play. And a great finish to end it. I think he's, he's, he's been uh, best value for money. Dunk. It's Choi. Running through is fouled. Let's get let's let uh, Radovanovic take this one. Ah, and that's wide. Thought he might surprise us there. As Radovanovic misses the tackle, it's through to Austin. Oh uh, no! Yes, clear that out. Yeah. Great work. Now murder. Murder. Oh, great finish. Does well to win that header. Plays a nice one, two. And he gets his goal. Oh, we're giving him too much space. Too much room. Oh, great tackle from Gissy. And another great tackle. Jackson clears. And it's out. The ball's cleared. And we have won the game. 2-0 against Queen's Park Rangers. Which moves us into the third position. Quite strange. Because we started out quite quite badly. Let's see the, let's see the table. We've had seven losses and we're in third, which is says a lot about the the other teams. Murder's top goal scorer. Let's check our team stats. So Murder's top goal scorer. They're in behind them is Schmelz, Fujita, 
Jackson, Choi, and Meram and Goyi in there, all joint with third of three goals. Next to Chris is Ngoyi and Doherty. Uh, let's do a train here.